Hey, so what's the weirdest thing you've done in prep? One of the weirdest things that you've done in prep. Oh, that's a good where, one. Where, where it's your mind is, you know, you just totally lost your mind. Yeah, I mean. I mean, there's a, there's a bunch. There's me. probably a bunch, but um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I'm, I have to think about that See. one a little bit. But I, I can tell you that, like, it's funny. Because things that I think that taste good while I'm in prep don't taste, <laughs> taste terrible. <laughs> like, oatmeal. <laughs> oatmeal. Yeah. Plain oatmeal tastes Really good. Oh, but when you're in prep, man, you put a, you take some plain oatmeal, yeah. put a little salt on that thing, mm -hmm. man, it's like heaven. Yeah, so uh, when you're so carb depleted, I remember being so depleted that we were in an airport and um, I was so hungry. I, I had you know, I guess eight or nine ounces of salmon. I ate it, and there was like the oil in the bottom of the bowl, <laughs> and I was like, oh man, I gotta have it. And I just I drank it, you know. And people were looking at me, you know, and I'm just like, hey, you know, you don't even understand, right? But um, Tell them about the uh, uh, um, the gummy bear story where you said it was zero carbs. You was in, it was, I'm pretty sure you was in prep when you told me this story uh, um, a while ago. I don't know if this is the one you're talking about, but I remember you remember Tommy Gunn. Yeah. He got me convinced that you can eat uh, yeah. sugar-free candy <laughs> as you're getting ready for a show. And Jack's looking at me every week. He's like, you're not really changing that much. What's going on? I'm like, I don't know. I'm not eating anything with calories. And <laughs> lo and behold, you know, sugar-free sugar-free candy still has 70 90 calories you know it's uh it's just it's bullshit it's still tired it's still terrible for you you know and uh i'm doing it on my diet thinking i'm not doing anything bad you know it's just i mean you tr you rationalize anything when you're in that state of mind right like there's just you just rationalize that's why i tell people all the time just don't think just don't think when you think that's when you start fucking everything up you know like if you just go and do it's going to be hard it's going to be tough just go and do it you know because the more you cheat, the longer you prolong the suffering. Oh yeah. Right? Yeah. Because yeah. if you don't cheat, like and what people don't understand, it's not really about the food you're eating at a certain point. It's it's the fact that your body has no fat and all those things that normally produce on a normal level, serotonin becomes sluggish, you know, because you're 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 working hard, you have your body needs a certain amount of fat on it. When you take it past that level, you're just not going to feel good. Right. There's mm -hmm. nothing. No. There's no two ways about it. You're just not going to feel good. Because I've had preps where I'm actually eating an enormous amount of food, like going in Spain. I was shredded for that show, and I was still eating eight meals a day, all the way to the show. I just didn't feel good. Mm -hmm. You know. And because eating seven me or six meals of eight ounces of fish, mm -hmm. it's just not enjoyable. It's not enjoyable. You'll be hungry and sit there and look at your food and go, do I really want to eat this? <laughs> I don't even know if I really want to eat this. I'd rather be hungry. You know, and then and if you think that's when you start doing something like this, well a protein shake might be the same thing. Right. Right? Just yeah, it's not bad. Protein shake's the same thing. Right. Maybe ground turkey. No. Just eat the food. Don't think. Yeah. Stop fucking thinking. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Oh yeah. So going back to like the question I was asking you, I think it was the first time you and I worked together was two thousand twelve. 2012, Mr. Delaware. Yeah, yeah, 2012. Yeah, I got with you the last three or four weeks. You're bringing me in, and uh, I was away uh, doing some training for work. And they put us up at this hotel. Now I've been at this hotel for almost eight weeks, right, Monday through Friday, and uh, it was a mile from the hotel to my office where I was doing the training. All you do is come out, make a left, make a right, make another right, and you're at the uh, the, the um, at the office. So I was the week of the show, I think it was a Tuesday, and I'm just so depleted. And I get in my car and I get lost. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'm lost. I'm like, what the hell? I'm looking around. I, I'm, I drive around twice. I'm like, I can't get to the building. I park, I look at the building, I call you know, the, the instructor and I'm saying, hey, look, I'm lost. He's like, what are you talking about? I said, I'm looking at the building. I just forgot how to get there. He's like, whatever. I'm like, no, I'm serious. I, I forgot how to get there. Wow. So, so I figured out, came in 20 minutes late, everybody was laughing at me, but yeah, I got lost. Yeah. Going, going to work. I think uh, probably one of the worst ones was, um, I was I was really depleted, and it was right before the Arnold in 2013, and I was still, I didn't have a sponsor, um, and I was still working, you know, trying to work 10, 12 hours a day, and George had just sent me a, um, George Farrow was my coach at that time, and he, he had just sent me a, a email telling me, you know, he wanted me to add in glutes and um, glutes and something else at the end of every workout, right? You know, and I, it couldn't have been no more than two or three weeks out, like I said. 
and I was already in pretty good shape and I was just remember feeling so terrible when I got the email and I just remember sitting there almost in tears like how am I going to find time to do this and <laughs> I come in the client and I'm getting ready to see this client and it's right after I get this email right so I'm again I'm working all these hours trying to figure out how to fit one more thing in and I'm following the diet perfect and this client looks at me and says <laughs> says that she cheated on Chinese food <laughs> and she was getting ready for a show, wasn't a lifestyle person. She cheated on Chinese food. I was like, oh, you know, I know it can be tough. She's like, yeah, me and my family went to the, uh, we're going somewhere, and then we ended up uh, stopping, and I just took them, and then I went in and ordered Chinese food. I was like, so it wasn't in your house. <laughs> you actually went somewhere, got Chinese food, thought about it, said, I'm going to eat this Chinese food, and... Uh, and then you come in here today, tell me you cheated on Chinese food. And she said, yeah. I said, all right, well, don't get undressed. Go ahead and go back home. Come back next week. <laughs> oh, my God. And she said, what? And I'm like, you wasted, you wasted my time because you didn't even have intention on following the diet. Just come back next week. Complete diet moment. Complete diet oh, moment. Because I would, I would totally not treat anybody that way. But in that moment, <laughs> I felt justified in saying, get out of my office. You cheated. <laughs> it wasn't an impulse thing. You actually planned yeah. it out. Mm -hmm. That's terrible. You don't do that. I know. I think the worst thing is just like blank mind like he was, he was. I locked myself out of my car twice during prep. The worst time was I had a haircut appointment and I forgot something in the office. But I left my keys in the car. Lock my because like my car door sometimes like I had to get it fixed at a closed lock by myself, but then I forgot I had the uh the um key fob to let me in. But I locked my car anyway, closed my door, ran back LA. Wait, why can't I get back in the gym? <laughs> Wait, where are my keys? Wait, what? And then I was just so mad at myself because it was like the second time it's happened, and I just get like blank mind just like that. So, you walk outside, forget your keys, go back in. Get your keys, walk back outside, forget your phone. <laughs> go back inside, get your phone. Go back outside, forget your wallet. Go, you're like, it's getting real forgetful. Oh my God, I forgot my cooler. <laughs>